There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Welcome to the last stream on the left. I am Ben Kissel. That's Marcus Parks. Hello. And with us as always, Henry Zabrowski from Heroes Reborn on NBC. Stu! Um, now listen, <laughs> Thursdays at 8 p.m., we're coming back. I'm doing it on my own. It's a live stage show this time. What I'm doing is I'm going to be a psychic guy in a wheelchair who always shits himself. Oh, that's going to be an amazing superpower <laughs> yes. for you to have. Heroes is not coming back. Heroes is never coming back because they made video game graphics that were so bad they were forced to be off the it's air It's a whole forever. thing of contention, because there was a lot of money that was actually dumped into those very terrible graphics, but what are you going to do about it? Cancel the show. <laughs> Cancel the show. All right, so obviously, some of you are listeners to the last podcast on the left. Some of you aren't. So last podcast on the left, it's a true crime show, paranormal, a lot of macabre. Henry goes crazy when discussing aliens. Fuck you! And Marcus goes crazy when researching multiple murders. Yes. Yes, well, that's just also personally, and it takes a toll. Yeah, it takes a large toll on many relationships. It absolutely does. But the thing with Last Podcast on the Left, we usually uh, cover stories that have already been. Yeah. But because we get to do a live stream, we can discuss serial killers and serial killer activity in real time. Actually, uh, like the Olympics, right? Well, actually, more on more, more up to date than the Olympics. And there's no spoilers here. Because <laughs> the thing about the Olympics, right, is that it's just plays, ways for people to get places that now they get awards for. Yeah, absolutely. And I was watching the Olympics today, and somebody from Canada, she won the trampoline, and of course she won the trampoline because it's the socialism of all sports, the safety that is down there. It's ridiculous <gasps> yeah, and sad. She just trampoline. <laughs> so what does she do for trampoline? You just bounce, bounce up and down like you're an NBA mascot. I go pay seventy five dollars to see that in Vegas called Cirque du Soleil. I love it, but I did watch uh, Esquirian dressage. Oh, I hate yeah. that shit. It's just, it's literally just beating a horse till it dances. Oh, that's <laughs> And ridiculous. then literally like 90 countries get together, they literally beat and torture a horse until it fancy dances and then they get awards for it. This might be a little bit German of me, but how else do you get something to dance? You beat it. Don't <laughs> I, you just beat it? Sometimes it's just joy. Yeah, that's Sometimes true. Sometimes it's just joy, but technically that's how Zydeco music was made. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And because we're live, we're also going to have the unbelievable ability, believe it, or not, believable, uh, I'm going to say believable You should actually eight more should times. just believe it because it's real. That's exactly. five believables. Real. We get to take phone calls. So call this number, 413-961-4263. That is 413-961-4263. It's on the bottom of your screen. And much like uh, Miss Cleo, I'm going to say, call me now. <laughs> Very good impression. Thank you so much. Um, you know, on the phone calls, if we can keep the racial slurs to a minimum, I'd say up to four. I think you Can we legally get away with four racial slurs? You're the concern for racial slurs. I'm not going to, what am I going to do? I'm unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> but the calls are extra unpredictable. Yes, and our, our audience is very diverse and a wonderful bunch of loving people who enjoy dark things. Um, all right, so let's get into the first story. We're going to go all the way to the beautiful sandy lands of Arizona. Phoenix, that is. There is a new serial killer on the loose in America right now. He is completely and totally unknown. He has killed and or wounded nine people at this point. His M.O. is to sneak up to these people after dark while they're either sitting in their cars or standing in front of their house. He's been operating for six months now. We got a new boy. <laughs> yeah. We got a fun new boy, and I can't wait to see him. I wonder what he looks like. Well, we have no idea, and we're not going to profile. Well, I'm going to say I just hope that he's handsome. Because I'm, I'm sick of these ugly serial killers. We need a new guy out front making serial killer sexies mm -hmm. to bump our numbers. I'm going to say I believe that he's probably ugly because he's killing people while they're sitting in cars. He's not even attractive enough to approach them without a huge <laughs> automobile in between. I mean, there's something about people sitting in cars. What are you doing? You're guaranteed to get possibly shot. No, sometimes you're just hanging out like you want to finish listening to I Can't Stop This Feeling Anymore yeah. because you're thinking about Debbie and you're in the car and you just want to wait till it ends. And so you get shot then, that you're, that's a blameless crime. But if you're sitting mm -hmm. there like literally staring at a little boy coming on a playground thinking you're going to st uh, put him in a sack so you can take him home and teach him how to like do a, like Willy Wonka without his own house get stuck inside a chocolate tube, mm -hmm. <laughs> then you get shot. That's your problem. We did have one rule. We weren't going to mention Debbie. 
<laughs> hey, you know what? Who cares? <laughs> who cares? This oh. guy, much like another killer uh, who snuck up on people in their cars and shot them, he has killed six people so far. He's wounded three. He has now tied David Berkowitz, a.k.a. the Son of Sam. You know he's found God, but he's really, really upset. Yeah? David Berkowitz, that is. He's very, very upset that he's sitting in jail like right now, and he's just finally be like, Oh, God, why am I getting tied? This is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not going to Arizona. Wait, they say it's a dry heat. Check my pants. Oh, nothing dry about my plums. He's oh, they're dripping salty. Oh, God. He's got drippy plums, but a desert grundle. Oh, God. <laughs> I saw Yikes. a coyote and I'm like, I'm allergic to cats. What's a coyote gonna that's, do? Uh, that, that's human dookie, <laughs> sir. Oh, thank you. Should I say thank you to a Native American? I'm sorry for what happened to you. I only kill women. The Berkowitz. <laughs> It's tough to say who's having a better time, David Berkowitz or Richard Speck, uh, in prison. Uh, obviously, the late Richard Speck. Oh, yes, and Before. we will be getting to Richard Speck later on yes. in this show. This guy right here, his first murder was actually his third attempt, and that first murder happened on April Fool's Day. Oh, that's and when not Ronald a funny Reagan, prank, yeah. It's not funny. <laughs> when <laughs> Ronald Reagan ran for the presidency, he ran once and he lost. Mm -hmm. He ran twice and he lost, just like this man. He was shooting at cars, missing every time. The third time is the charm. Unless, of course, uh, you were the victim. So you're applauding him. No, I'm not applauding him. I'm just saying, just, try, try, try again. I'm just saying you're applauding him. You're I'm not applauding excited him. about what he does. But I will say I agree with you. I'm also excited because it helps us in the end. I don't think people should be murdered again. I don't want to play the victim here. Are we still no. talking about Ronald Reagan or the serial killer? Both. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he is truly, I mean, he's a pussy because he's shooting people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You got to get up and close if you really want to kill somebody. You want to smell their tits wet. Well, that's a power control killer right there. Mm. Power control killers prefer to get up close and personal. They usually either strangle or they stab. This guy, he's a serial shooter. Uh, he's Maybe. more probably a missionary killer or a thrill killer would probably be a lot more accurate with Are this guy. Are we sure that he just doesn't hate cars? <laughs> and, and <laughs> think civilians happen to be inside of him. He's Do we just know like, that? He, he lost his license due to some like, he can't see colors, <laughs> he's doing red and green, he's driving a smart car around. If I see another Pinto. <laughs> well, the only connection between these murders, because as, as we know, a lot of times serial killers have a type, there's a bunch of different ages uh, and uh, a couple of different races, but the one connection is that they mostly happen in one neighborhood in Phoenix called Maryville. Now, mm. how many people live in Maryville? Can't you just go door to door and start sniffing everyone's gun and which everyone smells like it was just <laughs> unloaded on somebody? That's Honestly, the person who did it? In Maryville, fucking Arizona, there's obviously gonna be a lot of people with guns that have been recently fired. That's it's true. Arizona. You're protecting yourself from not only coyotes, but also like literally like th there's bugs everywhere. Yeah. You wake you up in the middle of the night, you got a gun underneath your pillow, you can just start shooting immediately. And yeah. Maybe sometimes you pick off a family. I mean, even the plants <laughs> in Arizona will stab you. It's Cactus. just a dangerous animal. And also, you got scorpions everywhere. Yeah. And scorpions just look like moving dangerous dirt. And people think the <laughs> desert is nice, but it actually gets cold at night. Who has ever said the desert's nice? I thought it was kind of nice. You just, because you looked at it from the, the windows of a hotel. Oh, that's correct. It was a painting. Yeah. Well, this neighborhood, Maryville, is is predominantly Latino, and since it is Arizona, some people are thinking that it might be a racially motivated crime. No way, Arizona but... is a very civil state. <laughs> very <laughs> sweet, Not no racial bias in Arizona, it's fine. No, none whatsoever, but if what we know about serial killers is that most of the time they tend to kill within their own race, with right. the exception of people like Jeffrey Dahmer, who killed predominantly black and Asian people. But now, uh, obviously, Jeffrey Dahmer, though, sort of transcended because he did kill within his same orientation. Yeah. You kill within the, within the groups of people that you are most comfortable around. It's like rummy. It is. It's like like suits and like numbers, right? Isn't that how rummy works? I don't know, but you said suits, which is today's code <laughs> word for me to mention. No, 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 no you family. I actually yes. think legally you cannot do a Jose Bank commercial, and I think it's Jose Bank. No, it's not. His name is Jose, and then it's That's A Bank. The, his name is Jose? I guess so. That's funny. Some man. people That's say it's dumb. short for Joseph, but I don't believe it one bit. How lazy do you have to be to call somebody Jose if his name's Joseph? And lazy enough to make premium coats. <laughs> the best coats you <laughs> money can buy. Literally, it closes in three weeks. You can't even make money from them. Yeah. <laughs> well, this killer could possibly be multiple killers because as few witnesses as there are, mm. a lot of witnesses say that after the shootings, they see multiple cars speeding from the scene. 
Or it's somebody who has access to cars. Yeah, it could be a valet. Uh, it could be a parking attendant. Or just a somebody. Or a <laughs> like some like multiple trans like Star Scream. <laughs> yeah, this might just be a really interesting, large, elaborate marketing scheme from Hollywood to promote multiplicity too. Oh, I thought you were going to say the electric rail system. <laughs> that's what they're trying. They're trying to kill people around cars, so people want to use magnet trains. Yeah. Because you know magnet trains, you can go from LA to New York in like 4.5 seconds, but mm. your guts get all smashed up. Mm -hmm. If I see a Pinto. <laughs> I just see you getting mad at cars because you're too big to get in them. I was actually too large to get into a car one time. Seriously? It was a yellow Geo Metro convertible. I owned it and I was longer than it. I would measure it the same way that a Cobra measures the person that's taking care of it. You get in that car, that's, uh, that's 1.5 Kissel's big. There's multiple pictures of me. I would drive around in it and uh, somebody hit it in a parking lot and I'll never be happy again. But I was longer than a car that I had for multiple years. Well, I was a delivery driver for Jimmy John's subs in God, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What a frightening delivery driver you must have been. I've got your food. <laughs> Take my wife! Yeah. She loves to fuck! Oh my god. Take her! Take her! Split her open! Anything but me! Anything yeah. but me! Save my son, he'll be president! Yeah. <laughs> Strange payment policies. Actually, that I did have a problem. At the end of the month, people would usually pay me in booze and marijuana. And at the end of the month, <laughs> they'd be I like... Could, you're the most primable delivery boy of yeah. all time, yeah. I was just enjoying the trip. And, uh, and then at the, at the end of the month, I'd be like, but I need some cash because the landlord requires, you know, money. Because yeah. you keep showing up with just fucking marinara stain <laughs> weed nugs. <It's> like, <laughs> so we solid. It's good. Cool. Well, this guy in Arizona, he's not the first. He's not the second. He's not even the third serial shooter in Phoenix, Arizona in recent years. In fact, one police spokesman said, quote, we do seem to have had our share. You know what it is? Air conditioning. <laughs> I literally mean? think that some serial killers can't take the heat. It's like 110 degrees uh -huh. at 10 o'clock in the morning in Arizona. Yep. He's just sitting in his window in his car, like listening to the radio, going, ee, like, <laughs> just like, I ain't going out there. Do you feel out like, there? I see. So it's the air conditioning inside in the car. of his own so car. So if you were to run for governor of Arizona right now or mayor of Maryville, you would say, cut all air conditioning out of cars. Back to carriages. Back to I carriages. I say we take the whole town, we bring it back to Westworld. Right. And all of Arizona, let's bump it back to like one of those like ro rodeo like stunt shows. I agree. That they only hire rapists to work at. We hear about drive bys, but you never hear about a horse and carriage by. No, so absolutely. that's a good point, Henry. Well, back in the day, they killed millions of Native Americans in horses and carriages. You could argue that, uh, you know... That was easy for them, because they just showed up and said, we're ghosts. And they're like, yeah. no, oh, oh, that is so, oh, cannot kill a ghost. It is illegal in Native American laws. And then they're like, bam, 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 bam. They're like, got you. You just got burnt. That was your Native American accent? Actually, Marcus says a much better yeah. one. Yeah. We do not appreciate the white man's deception. Good point, Marcus. Thank you. And good point, Native Americans. <laughs> well, these shootings may be related to a spree last year in Phoenix in which 11 cars were shot. When asked if these shootings were linked, a spokesman said, quote, we're just ferreting all this out. The, they're doing what? Ferreting. Fer ferreting. Fer ferreting? Ferreting. So they used the word, the name on the animal. Ferret. Yeah. yeah. As a verb. As a Don't verb. Don't ferrets just like eat through garbage and uh, in random cardboard boxes? I mean, ferret. I mean, they're clever animals. Are they? I don't think they are. When I hear the term <laughs> ferret, when I imagine a ferret and its actions, I imagine it trying to get through a woman's panties to her vagina so it can yeah. get up in there. I just imagine. So like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I would love to go to a ferret meeting and just meet the one who's just like, so I was hanging out with Richard Gere this weekend. They're Let like, us just mm. say blah, blah, blah. So you showered a lot? You have to. Yeah, Richard Gere's got a huge asshole. Great guy, though. <laughs> Wonderful actor. Do you think he still gets things shoved up his asshole? Why wouldn't he? If you do it once, you can do it again and again and again. It's like uh, the first time you ever make a uh, chicken pot pie. You realize how good they are. <laughs> I love chicken pot pie. Well, the most recent serial shooters in Phoenix who have actually been captured is a couple of roommates named Dale Hausner and Samuel Dietman. Over 15 months, they used shotguns and rifles to shoot 25 people. They killed eight. They stabbed two Terrible and spread. shot and killed at least 10 dogs and horses. Oh. They just work for a glue company. <laughs> that is terrible to <laughs> kill those dogs. People get more upset about dogs and horses because you oh. can use them as money. You can use dogs and horses as money. Technically, you're not allowed to use people as money anymore. Technically. No, you, no, you cannot. I don't I don't think you ever could. But the thing about horses and the things about dog, the thing about dogs is if you put peanut butter on the top of the mouth, 
uh, on the top of their mouth, it looks like they're talking. <laughs> They, no, that's what they that do. literally you think that's the no, best no, 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 quality no, no. of a dog. That's what they do. So, yeah, it's, it's just, just, it just seems like horses re represent freedom. Dogs are man's best friend no matter what he's done to his family. Look at Berkowitz again, bringing it back to him. He loved his damn dog, although that dog did tell him to kill. That was the problem. It's the opposite. He hated the dog. He, he treated the dog like it was his boss. <laughs> it's like when your friend becomes your boss. You ever worked at a job where your friend all of a sudden becomes manager? Yes. That was Sam. To him, well, all of a sudden oh. he's like, "Oh, now I'm going. Now you're gonna act like you're my boss." Yesterday you were trying to lick my balls because I put I spilled chocolate on my pants. Yeah, classic. I agree. But these guys were roommates, and I mean that must mm -hmm. be difficult to work together, and then you gotta go home and be together. Oh. What do you even talk about? Oh, they loved it. In fact, what happened? How police caught them is that they had these guys <laughs> under surveillance. They broke into the Hausner household. They bugged the whole thing. And how they caught them was they heard Hausner bragging about he was quote the best serial killer ever. No, the best serial killer ever? Shh. Very quiet. Keeps it mum. Yeah. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so is that where we're at right now with the Phoenix, Arizona That's serial killer? That's where we're at, man. So we haven't we got gotten nothing. Him. We've got, we haven't gotten him. Is, we, what's his name yeah. right now? Uh, right now he's just called, actually we don't have a name because even Dale Hausner, he had a born ass name too. He was called just the serial shooter. Uh, We're gonna yeah. call him the shark shooter because I'm just gonna assume he <laughs> farts a lot when he shoots. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Yes, and we need to mock this man. And if you are in Phoenix and you see anybody sitting in an air conditioned car, kind of huffing and breathing heavily. Smash open the window and grab him and pull out into the street. Let him know. Or if you are the Phoenix serial killer and you're watching, call 413-961-4263. We want to hear from you and tell you, hey man, kill Trump. No, you, you cannot no, say, cannot say that. You, you cannot, cannot threaten the life that. of a presidential. That is, that is the worst thing you can say. I you do want to clarify, as Fox News has been kissed, <laughs> this is a satire show. This is the funniest. That's the funniest joke I've uh, ever said. It was sarcasm. I see. Sarcasm. Very sarcasm. Good. Which is what Trump says a lot. Oh, well, that's Don't very stop true. with the winking. Stop with the winking. Uh, well, I wasn't winking. Okay, stop with the winking. <laughs> All right, but speaking of the phone number, let's take a call. Travis, is anybody calling us? Sure. All right, let's take one phone uh, call. Who is see. it? If it's, if it was a Debbie, if it's Debbie, I will not be happy. All right, hello. You're on the hello. internet. Yeah, you're on the internet. This is a huge deal. This for is you. the internet. Okay, cool. Yes. What's going on? What's your name? Uh, I don't know. You know. Just, you don't know your name? Just want to say. I no. Well, I guess you could go Get with uh, I don't like Charles. the call. Go, go with the call. You Give us your shot. name up top. Good lord, you're a total One failure. Shot. One shot. Have me this Monday. Travis, what else? Give us another call. Good lord. You're now, Just now know you're your name. Sound, you're starting to sound like Bill O'Reilly screaming. I'm just give me another we'll do call. Do it live. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Well, the, while we're waiting for the call, the next topic yes, we have is a. It. So, what's this man's name? This is okay. This so, is Graham. Yes, this is Graham. What uh, happened is an artist, a trauma surgeon, and a car crash expert all got together to design to design a human that is evolved specifically to survive car crashes. That is the only thing that this thing named Graham is designed for. That is right. too specific for a person. Travis, First of all, what about a person who can love another? What another person no. that can sing the best song, that can write the best poem? Well, that they can also, that you don't have to not, he, maybe Graham is a great poet. I don't know. I'm going to put this, Graham is a one out of ten would fuck for me. <laughs> well, I I'm, think not, he, I'm not into it. I would not have sex with Graham. He's a ten out of ten because you're never going to get a sand phone call that your boyfriend or girlfriend is dead. Um, Travis, in a car accident, that is. <laughs> Travis, show the guy. Yeah. Show, show Graham let's, here. Let's so let's the truth is that cars have evolved a lot faster yeah. than we have. The strongest man cannot hold himself from going forwards in a car accident uh, uh, because the forces are so great. That looks like me. The most significant part of the body for injury is the head. Our bodies are just not Ooh. equipped to handle the forces <laughs> in common crash like scenarios. <laughs> Don't want to meet Graham. Ugh. Let's get the full shot. That's him. I'm gonna say I love Graham. What is it? Eight nipples on that guy? Eight he looks nipples. Like, yeah, he looks like a dog. I only got these two big flappers, and then I got like kind of medium ones here. Am I safe? No, no, no. See what Graham has is that he has these deposits of fat. I'm so here, 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 wet. and oh, god damn, you're wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Here, 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 and here. Because what those deposits of fat actually do. 
is what? they spread they out absorb the, shock the, the shock waves. And so you can see right now, so well, look at this, I kind of got to get in a little bit of lines here, which is cool, because I've been doing crunches. No, that's uh, now not I'm cool. Only, my no. lungs are safe. You've been doing crunches? Yeah. I think he's been eating a bunch of crunches. <laughs> kind of a funny joke there. If you think, <laughs> do not, do not. Out of kind of um, a funny bit there. Also, wow. Graham, Graham sort of looks like a Latvian basketball player. A little bit. He a looks like bit. one of the, what's his, what was that guy named, like, Georgerback? That played for the Utah Jazz. There was a fellow named George Mirasan, but I don't think that's who you're referencing. He looked like Andre the Giant. No, what's his name? The Billy Crystal Giant one. That's, that's George, George Mirasan. Yeah, my giant. Yes, and he is a giant. Which sounds like he's a slave. To Billy <laughs> and he that's my was. giant. Yes. I, um, and as a giant, I thought that movie was, it wasn't offensive. It was fine. We all love to be owned by a Billy Crystal. I'm, I'm his owner. This is my giant. Yeah. What do you, what do you? Suck your own dick. <laughs> suck your own dick. I got to say, he's a pretty good master. Yeah. Suck yeah. yeah. Hey. Now do it. Do it while I film it so I can show my mom. This is where the job gets hard. Yeah, it's hard to do it on the <laughs> it stream. Hard. Yeah. Um, also kind of looks like a big old Greek woman. But this is, how incredible is that though? Because you could almost argue this man is more evolved than we are. No, my brain is just, no, this is just He a, could be very this, smart. This that, is just we, a candelabra for a magnificent brain. That man who looks like a, a slightly dumpier Ed Larson from the Round Table of Gentlemen, Google it if you don't know what that is. It's a great show here on, uh, here on Cave Comedy Radio. He could be very intelligent. What if they accidentally also gave him the perfect tongue for eating pussy? That, oh my god, his <laughs> nipples like and that kind of no, tongue? No, no, they just no. snuck it in there. Was like, <laughs> he also could fucking muff dive until the sun explodes. Yeah. He's a long tongue that can extend out and go sling, 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 sling. I mean, we sit here, we laugh at this man, but technically, in the future, cars aren't going anywhere. He's what we should look like. He doesn't he's exist. Gonna be, he is he gonna doesn't be the, exist. He's going to be the David <laughs> Beckham in 2083. That man will be looked at as more attractive than Tom Brady, David Beckham, and uh, another attractive male so uh, now all just, combined. It's just whoever lives while the smart cars are driving us around. Essentially, that's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like back in the day when Henry VIII was just the most attractive because he was the fattest because being fat meant you had riches. Yeah, why wouldn't he? Of course he's attractive. I mean, back in the day, if you were a king and you couldn't see your penis, it didn't even matter because you had so many people wanting to see it for you. Yeah. Oh, we got a phone call? All right, Give it let's to us, titties. Call. Travis's titties. T titties is our no, producer. No, that's Travis. not the name of our producer. That's actually his, his name legal is Travis. Last name. He's a great guy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Was this some kind of pizza party, guys? It's eight o'clock at night. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. What's your name? Abby. Hey, Abby. Thanks for calling in. How old are you, Abby? I'm 25. Okay, good. All right. That's great. Okay. Cool. Abby, what's your query? I'm sorry? What's what, your question? question? Do you have a question or do you just want to make a statement? Uh, I'm not sure to call in. And <laughs> you just don't, you have nothing to say at all. This is not uh, compelling Abby, television. You no, know, it is, and this is the internet. This is technically compelling No, internet. no, this is Abby, television. we're together. We're at an Arby's. What are you buying? And how much, how much do I have to spend? Abby got to answer! <laughs> Abby, you've got to answer immediately! You know what? This is actually Debbie. Cut this it, is oh, Debbie. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Debbie. That, the I whole thing's falling Debbie. apart. Always alone. Um, so By the way, it's, you get the mozzarella sticks. They're only $2.99, okay? That's disgusting. Never get yeah, mozzarella sticks. Great mozzarella sticks. Oh, Arby's is one of the best. You're literally Arby's. the new Hitler. <laughs> All right. Wait, Arby's was around during that time. So this next piece, this next piece we're going to cover is about art. Okay, yeah. so we're done with the man who could survive the plane crash or oh, the, yeah. the car so crash. He's Graham. Yeah. He's not dead. He's very exciting. Uh, art comes in all different uh, varieties. Sometimes it's painting. Sometimes it's a podcast. And sometimes it's beautiful music. Sometimes it's music. Let's hear from one of our favorite outsider artists. I'm screaming inside my head. Oh no. Oh boy. I don't know who I am. Fuck you. It's like my name no longer Roy. His name's no longer Roy. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. It's not really on me. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you. <laughs> I don't come laugh no more. What? 
they don't come like no more. He's like you know the lyrics. He's dark castle, the majestic mountains of my motherland, and looks upon you. Try to hide pain with horror. But the act is meaningless, and I feel shame. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy, oh no. This is cool. Oh, oh, spaghetti <laughs> oh, What? Wow. Spaghetti He's got humor in there. Question, who sings that? I think that is, uh, that's actually Bjork's brother. <laughs> Bjork. <laughs> the Norse. Yeah. Um, also, I, I imagine if it was called Ice Creaming Inside My Head. Oh, that's oh, kind of fun. Yeah. And a great reference to Elbert Fish, part one. Go and check it out. Listen to it if you haven't heard uh, last podcast on the left yet when we discuss Mr. Fish. It gets pretty creepy and it smells, he smells worse than his last name, the creature named <laughs> he, after his last name. He probably smells almost worse than this studio currently smells. <laughs> Joseph <laughs> makes me smell good. He is literally the heat coming off of him. It's like you're a comet's tail. <laughs> um, but Albert Fish, the way I like to describe him is imagine his body is like he's like a soft, mushy crab apple, but he's got a hard little stem. Oh, I like that. And that stem is this fucking searching penis. Yeah, and yes. speaking of the stem, if you haven't heard the episode yet, one of Albert Fish's favorite things to do uh, was to take a rose, stand in front of a mirror, uh, stick the stem up, up his, his penis. penis, and then huh. prance around. Henry, like, what, would, what would that look like? Come on. That's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I imagine it's something like it's it's so, it's jaunty, going like I'm just yeah. a vase and no, I'm just a rat in a cage. I yeah. turned into a rat in a cage. What's that song? Bullet with butterfly Bullet wings. With butterfly wings. I um, he's disgusting. Yeah. I'm really well, glad he's dead. Yeah. It well, it's it, and you you can find his uh, you can find his grave. It's the one with the single rose that grows <laughs> from it. Kiss from a rose on the That's grave. actually what the song was about. People thought Seal wrote that for Batman Returns, I believe, yeah. but it was actually for Albert Fish and the rose that he would stick up his penis. So that's kind of an interesting story. Man, Heidi Klum was a very brave woman. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Can't I believe mean, she loved that scar-faced monster. Well, he did. Seal had uh, he had some uh, issues there. He was beat up a bit as a child. His first name was Walrus. Isn't that something? Well, we have a phone call. All right, we got a phone call. Debbie. This better be better. This is I mean, this literally this is going no, to be right right good. Whoever's on the phone call. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Are you there? Yes. Hey. Henry, I'll take it. Are you there? <laughs> yes. Sorry, the phone system's a little bit garbage. You're a little bit garbage! The the phone system is... Okay, fine. All right, what do you want to hear? What do you want us to say? What do you want? I I was was just trying to get a call where uh, somebody actually responded to you guys. Hey, love the show. You introduced me to Chaos Magic and stuff uh, that has done good shit for me. Awesome. What What has Chaos Magic done for you? Um... Just uh, introduced me to abstract thought and just like got me uh, working on my life a bit better. That's actually really great. Have you yeah. come? I'm not going to specify. Have you come? Have you done anything? Have you done any sigil like jerk off magic? Yeah. Fuck yeah! yeah. Congratulations, right. my right. friend. All right. I'm so happy we could help you out with all that insane stuff. And uh, the best of luck to you. Hail Satan! Thanks, folks. Hail yourself. Thank you, folks. All right, let's do one more. I like that. Thanks. I love all good folks. I gotta say, good folks. Um, all right, one more, Travis. One more, Travis! I'm not yelling like that! It just turns slowly into becoming your CEO, where it's like, Deborah. I get, I do, it, it is interesting. Oh. Hello, how are you? Hello, hi. Hey, what's going on? on. I'm, I'm in a subway right now, but I'm leaving. Oh, that's exciting. You're in a subway restaurant or a subway like a train? You're aiding and abetting a child molester. No, like like a train. Oh, yeah, oh, I was, oh, 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 and I was like, I'm going to try to call them and see if I can get on. That's you amazing. Did. Well, you did get on. What what train are you on? I was, well, I, I got off it. I was going to get on the M. Uh-huh. And call, but now I'm running. Do so you have I, a like, question? <laughs> well, no, I mean I did ask that. Okay, so anything you want to talk about? Let's just let's just spitball it out there. Sure, I'm free on Friday. You don't. Um, how old are you? Okay. you know, She's on the train. You have to be 18 to ride. No, you don't have to be 18 to ride. <laughs> always ask how old they are first. So wait, uh, I'm 23. Okay, Perfect. Good okay. Age. Good age. Good age. All right, go ahead, Kissels. Be disgusting. I'm an adult. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. Thank you. This is really going well. So what's your question? Jesus, leave her alone. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I'm overwhelmed. 
Are no. you, you know are what? you at gunpoint? No, you don't have to be oh, overwhelmed. Oh, is this a hostage th situation? <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever it is, let her go. <laughs> let that woman okay, go. Sorry. What's that? I'm outside, yeah, so I can hear. Okay, very good. Any question you want to have, uh, do you have something for Marcus, myself, or H-Bone, anyone? Here's Reborn's not coming back. It's not coming back. Stu Your pretty face is going to hell, though, adultswim.com. That is coming back. Check October, you got to check it out. You can watch me on Fox News tonight. Uh, oh, God. Oh, she's, been, she's been she's been killed gone. by her kidnapper. <laughs> All I got right, a good great. plug in though. No, you did. Great it's job. It's about grassroots. You have to build an audience one at a time. Your pretty face is going to hell. Needs to we need to build it up. And that's I agree. a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Check out your pretty face is going to hell. What do you want? Season three, four? Three. Three. You don't know my life. I don't know it. You don't know no. what I do. I purposely, uh, uh, you know, look away from it. <laughs> what do you call that? Uh, right. Avoid it. This next one, is this one about bodies? Well, uh, you know what? We have we have plenty of time. Do you want to talk about your pretty face is going to hell right here on Adult Swim? I mean, this would be no, the place to I do it. No, I just desperately need them to fucking watch it. They just need to watch it. It does. It speaks for itself. It's very good. All right. All That's right. not me being desperate. Favorite guest star that you met on this season? Screech. Screech was mm. very nice. Now, this is true, apparently, about Screech. It was a stunt penis in the pornography film. Yes, it's yeah. true. He wasn't really fucking. Huh. So, I think I'm going to watch it now. All right. <laughs> so, check out Your Pretty Face is Going to Hell. It has Screech, but unfortunately, his stunt penis double wasn't able to make a cameo. It was Danny DeVito. It was a Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny I would DeVito imagine Danny DeVito's got one of those. <laughs> I honestly yeah. imagine, because he's got a body like a tangerine. Yeah. You know he's got a cock like a Oh, he's oh, got yeah. to. Get Rhea Perlman is I a dime. You, I bet mean, it's about this thick. Like yeah. this, this thick. Wow. But. Nish, like a fucking <laughs> hockey puck. Really? And he just slaps it against Rhea Perlman because Isn't her clit's like the size of a grape. And she's wearing a goalie mask. Isn't that wild? <laughs> gotta have sex. Gotta, gotta have some. That's fun. how. You, that's how you have sex. Love Danny DeVito. I loved him when he was the Penguin, um, in Batman. There. Um, all right. So now we just got inside of our heads with that great Russian hit, and I do believe that was a Russian hit, by the way. That I don't know if not... it was a hit. It, it was, was a, a hit. It definitely came from Russia. It was. It was one of Vladimir Putin's. Nephews, yes. I guess uh, I will not shoot your children. I don't, cannot do Russian accent. No one should do a Russian <laughs> accent. The entire culture should have sort of been eradicated there. But um, not a controversial stance. I don't think we're, we can't be <laughs> super pro you're Russian. Unnoticed. Russians, you're no, unnoticed. I'm not unnoticed. Can we Russia put is anti-gay. You can't even, you know. On notice. No, I'm not on notice. Russia Travis is anti-gay, anti-woman. I am not. I am not on notice. On notice. He's threatened to kill a current running president. I can't promise to kill. Oh my God. Wow. Current running. All right, Marcus is gonna freak candidate. out over here if we don't stop this. On notice. Uh, on notice. That's on notice. <laughs> that means I'm on notice. Chubby bastard. Looking like that's not even a character he was doing for a sketch show. That's just a selfie he took when he was looking at the mirror getting ready for work. Well, our next topic today is <laughs> speaking was, of man tits. I wish you really had like destroyed my feelings. Like, <laughs> oh no, God. Fine. All well, right. Well, you saw the man tits that are on Henry, but that pales in comparison to the man tits on this next dude. Oh, oh this guy's got some. We talked about oh, him up top. God, so. absolutely. No, she's, no, she's. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Richard Speck murders. Mm. Richard Speck was a guy that broke in into a nurse's dormitory in 1966 and murdered eight nurses in one night. Because normally nurses stand and stand tit to tit in a circle. <laughs> kind of erotic. And it's easy to just slash through because he was just going through life with a fucking scimitar. Like it's, an Arabian warrior. Yeah, it's not right what he did to those nurses. No. Nurses heal the world. Nurses are what make uh, all of us uh, they're, the, they're the reasons that many of our parents and grandparents are still alive. The nurses are the unsung heroes of the hospital, and we need to show them a lot more respect than Richard Speck did. Well, I want to say thank you to the nurse that slowly fed my horrible grandfather, the grandfather, grandmother, the morphine that killed him. <laughs> I and of course, that was Nurse Kevorkian. Yes. Uh, the Zabrowski family went to a controversial hospital that was in an apartment in Queens. Okay. <laughs> so this guy, Richard Speck, he killed eight nurses. The ninth one got away because Richard Speck was murdering so much and so furiously that night that he lost track of how many nurses he had to kill. It's like, I don't know how many beers I've drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so he uh, was caught two days later and was identified by a tattoo on his arm that said, born to raise hell. Cool. Yeah. yeah. If he it didn't kill a, those people. Yeah, I mean, it's a good tattoo if you don't murder us all. 
whole group of it, it's a good tattoo if it's kind of ironic. You know, when you're a yeah. priest. But you see, no, then that's fucking because obviously you're molesting children. That's very true. If you have a, if you see a priest as the born to raise hell thing, he may as well like have like a like two knee pads also tattooed onto his knees. <laughs> that I don't. Yeah, from okay. blowing little children. From blowing children. Well, from him blowing them. But then him, them blowing him, and so then have, he's got. There's a whole thing. He's got tripod joints also the, like put onto his the sides of his. The knees. logistics would make that's more of a kissing. It is a, a pandemic across this country. <laughs> Either way, Richard Speck. See the Speck. movie Spotlight. <laughs> yeah, terrible person, Mr. Speck is. Yeah, he was sentenced to death in 1967. That was community life sentence in 1972, when we temporarily abolished the death penalty. 16 years later, in 1988, Richard Speck resurfaced in one of the most bizarre videos that I have ever seen, which we will watch a small part of that mm. video right now. And this is Chicago for you. More shocking than Speck's Ooh, lack of remorse nice. was his change in appearance. Apparently through the use of hormones, mm. he had transformed his body to ensure his survival in one of America's most dangerous prisons. Yeah, he did. He has oh, the, yep. certain trappings of the female numb. body that made him very desirable to inmates. The breasts like and the... Meg Ryan. <laughs> you know, so feminine underwear were all part of the scheme. He looks like the guy from the By six which he kept himself alive. <laughs> and not only alive, but, you know, well supplied with goodies like liquor and cocaine. Oh, oh yeah. Because right. he... Here it is was what's known as a queen bee in the penitentiary. More like and queen bar. He didn't get killed like Dom Reed. Absolutely cunning survivor. Oh, fuck yeah, right, right there. That's a scary Yeah, John, you know what's fun I've had? Mm. <laughs> this loose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, those tits. Oh, Can we yeah. actually do that thing? Can we focus back on the tits for one second? Do you yeah. want to focus back on the breasts? I want to look at the breasts breast. really quick. Can we get yeah. the Yeah, the, yeah the there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's see those. Let's take a look Ooh. here. Now so, those are what what technically technically you call bananas. Those are a <laughs> banana boat breast. There's yeah. no doubt about it. It's it's got a fun. It's it's almost like that amusement ride that Wait, killed look, that look. poor child. Can you see the? Can you see us over a bit like that? Yeah. Yes, they yeah. can. Whatever you see, they oh. see. Oh, 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 oh,
in 1991. Literally having too from much having, fun. Like, literally like John Belushi. He died yeah. from having too much fun. Tell That's me it. That. Too much of a good thing. Is, is sometimes not enough. Is I think that's what it is? There's no such thing as too much of a good thing. Well, it's mm -hmm. just, it's sad because they didn't understand why they were being filmed, you know? They, they were like, oh, we're, they were we're being filmed I because everyone loves us. No, in reality, <laughs> it's to make the party, this is the last party you're ever gonna have. No, actually, <laughs> what that, I found out today, uh, what that was actually filmed for is they were filming a fake new show just for fun. <laughs> like, that, they were just having a good day. So, so they were doing like MTV, a, they were like doing, Kurt Loader <laughs> news? Yeah, and they I were remember doing a that. fake new show where they were interviewing Richard Speck about the murder. Kind and of he was a, just bragging about it. He was just bragging like, about oh. it, yeah. Yeah, because when they asked him uh, how he felt when he killed the nurses, he said, I had no feeling. Yeah, he said he always yeah. felt, he felt nothing. Yeah, he felt nothing. Yeah, Which oh, is yeah. sad, but now he's having fun. We're well, going... Yeah. In the afterlife? Yeah, but now you think, no, but up until his death, he was having a lot of fun. Yeah. And it yeah. wasn't until he found his calling, which was growing breasts and doing cocaine. Yeah. But prison. you don't get to keep your fake breasts in the afterlife. Although I do believe, I guess, they were real breasts because he was on estrogen treatment, so they weren't implants. Uh, maybe he does have the biggest hits in heaven. But that is chaos magic in itself, right? Is that you, you technically a fake breast, but they're not fake breasts because they're made out of your own meat. They're real breasts, so now you're a woman, except you got a penis and you like having sex with men. You consider yourself a man, but you have breasts. Flip it, reverse it. You're a, you're still a man. Is that, am I doing right math? <laughs> so, Richard <laughs> Speck. I mean, how fascinating uh, oh, yeah. uh, is this guy? 50 years. Uh, on uh, last July, on July 14th, that was 50 years that that happened. Man. Terrible, terrible person. Always be ready to kill. If that anyone has a tattoo that uh, that approaches you that says "Born to do bad" or "Raise born, hell," raise hell. You gotta. You take the initiative. You raise hell. Take them down. Is this also the same year as the Bad Company came out? Bad Company's Bad Company. <laughs> Bad Company song Bad Company on the album Bad Company, mm -hmm. not a creative group of artists. No, they knew how to brand themselves. Uh, yeah. Strangely enough, though, this was the year that uh, Panther Man by Panther Man on the album Panther Man came out. I little love known, Panther uh, Man. Little known band, Panther Man. How yes. do you have anyone? <laughs> he actually like, has how, a, girl, how are you? a very oh, attractive oh, girlfriend. Oh, pickle girlfriend? Yes, you have a very beautiful girlfriend. Okay. I, we all actually have beautiful girlfriends. We yeah. technically all have beautiful... Well, not technically, we do. We yeah. do. No, yeah, we don't technically. But wait, if we tell them that, then they're going to leave us. So we have to sort of... Well, that's are you saying that you are you saying video. that you are you saying that you neg your girlfriend, your long-term girlfriend? While you have her, technically. While you already have her? I neg? Yeah. That seems racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, going to even participate in the racist games. Uh, I won't be caught up in something like that. I'm running for Congress in 2020. Oh, man. So this, there's is, no way this video is going to come I can't wait back. for the, the election slash apology tour that is that election. <laughs> it's going to be big. Out of your room, out of your womb, out of your wallet. Mount Kissel. Kissel 2020. Um, so this next thing is about how all bodies are a part of the human rainbow and every part of that rainbow is beautiful. Yeah. So the last one, uh, one was about. Yeah, just like Richard Speck, uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there spend a lot of time on the internet. And if you spend a lot of time on the internet, I'm sure that you've come across the phenomenon known as the feeder gainer. Now I'd like to fetish. do right now, right now, if, if honestly, if you are watching us but also uh, masturbating to porn at the same time, just mm. stop it for a fucking second. Well, stop One watching second. us and finish what you're doing. I no, no, no. Give Why would you want to take, like try to take that pleasure away from somebody? They can jerk off in 15 minutes. Right now, we're going to talk about something else. All right, so just put it down. The feeder gainer. Uh, a fetish is involving uh, b b enjoying watching someone eat in front of you or gain a significant amount of weight while you sort of jerk off at them. Yeah, well, it's about uh, it's about being empowered, right? So usually the gainer, that's obviously the person who is being fed, and the feeder is obviously the one who is feeding. The feeder tends to be the one who is able to hunt and gather, and the gainer is the one who gets to take care of the house. And I don't think hunter. Now the we're bear. making this very no, no, no. Twentieth se that's 20th what it is. century, twenty-first century hunter gathering means that they give to their PayPal account. So technically, so cam girls. yeah, it's like cam girls, but oh, with there's that aspect horrible, too, yes. uh, a horrible, very uh, horribly overweight. And, and I want to say, I used to be 380 pounds. I lost 160 pounds, and you know what? Biggest career mistake of my life. I could have been huge. I would have. I mean, you were I, huge. I would have yeah. been. I would have been huge. And I would have been very wealthy had I not lost all that weight. But I just want to say right now, this is like a very sincere thank you to Lena Dunham for taking her surprising, <laughs> her surprising body and, like the Kool Aid woman, yeah. <laughs> bursting through the door and saying, "Oh yeah," to different types of bodies. Even children of very 
wealthy, well-to-do, established parents can with make full it. full Hollywood connections full. and moldy, millions of dollars millions. in the bank. Yeah. Which is like they can, even they can make it. They can make it. Um, and this video shows that like, no matter what it is that you look like, whatever it is that you're into, somebody is willing to jerk off onto their own mouth thinking about you. Yeah. <gasps> Let's see it. Powerful. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing to to actually love being fat. Why is this the bottom half got there no hair? Really love being fat and want to be fatter. I don't think it's a lot. No. But it's the if they knew how good it could feel, they might be interested. I mean, I think he is just he he I he's brave. And I'm proud of that man. What was his I name? Mean, uh, his name was a uh, double, double belly, belly BHM. BHM. And he yeah. does have a double belly, and that's what he's going for. I don't know if he wraps a rope around his stomach no. as he eats. No, uh, that's a natural I'm not sure. fold. Is that a yeah. natural fold? Well, I mean, if you're wondering how he eats, let's watch him eat real fast. All right, let's check that out. Yeah. I would love to let's see, see how, how he trains. I guarantee you it's very similar to, uh, to how I eat at 2 a.m. Oh, I'm getting one of my... Fat attacks. Uh oh, <laughs> classic. Man. That's where suddenly it just comes on me that I want to have something to eat. It's like you're it's like a Halloween costume where so you're just two big pancakes. Even oh. fatter. Oh, I'm yeah. getting this nice girdle of of fat oh. and a deeper belly button oh. and a little bit more hang. Oh, nice. But I still have more to go. Yeah, and this is one of my favorite oh, fat snacks. Yeah. Ice cream, <laughs> pound cake, oh, yeah. whipped cream. Mm. A lot of calories here. <laughs> that is true. That is true. That's a lot of Weight Watchers points. That is. Absolutely oh. delicious. Oh, oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah. Well, there it is. Yeah. You know what? I think that's we good. We've, we've, we've seen yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta oh, say, I'm glad that Travis is still playing it in the other. The <laughs> that's other nice. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll always um, see it. That's I'm someone's gonna... roommate. Yeah. It is. That oh, is there's literally. No... It, oh, it's, it is were... somebody's brother. It's somebody's father, perhaps. Someone is literally mm. sitting in the other room. Because I've ordered. I've done that. I have done You've that done celebration. I've been alone. You made your stomach look like a like a plant from uh. Like, I'm like. Fuck. Like, when you're sitting and eating food, and you don't wear a shirt because you know you're going to get soup all over yourself, and it gets all up in your hair and shit. I don't think so, Henry. I have what? to say, his stomach looks like one of the plants from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't it? It looks like it's about to like, snap Ooh. down. Yeah. It's, oh, no, you're not that, that fat Is that yet. like, Henry, you've fold. got like that fold right there, you know, where you've got the little marks where it oh, folds all the time? Girl, I don't think we should show that. But there's hair on both sides, but that guy, double belly, he doesn't have... Well, I... He no, doesn't I, have... This he is doesn't what, have hair on You're the doing bottom. an act out you on see? this. You thought this was cool. a good idea. See, there's Henry. supposed to be hair, like, Ugh. there's cool. hair on both sides yeah, but you're not, here. Yeah, I have up hair. I have hair. No, no hair. one wants to he see. Has, it looks like pizza. It goes oh. up, and it goes down. There's, All right, see, see, look, show it on the video. Yeah, this is show, how an Italian dreams. Oh, I can't yeah, even. See? Oh. Yeah, over there. See that? And then look, there's no hair on that See, but I've lost a lot of weight. All right, come on, sit down. For crying out loud, what is wrong with you? You and your pizza dough belly. <laughs> well, uh, my yeah. belly's, the, I'm the tightest I've ever been. Yeah, but you're still extremely overweight. Yeah, look at his fucking You muscles. have one bicep. No, no, man, I got fucking huge. Actually, Woo! I'm gonna stick with the one bicep. One is much stronger than the other there. Um, all right, that's, and put Henry's photo up there. That's that was how, after Wolf of Wall Street where I made money. All right, nice. I made solid ass fucking cash doing that. Now I'm fucking built. I'm the strongest I've ever been. All right, we well, got one woo! more story, well, and it involved. What's that? More? What do you well, want to but, say? Well, yeah, I mean, before we get to the last story, yeah. we have to see how people actually react to this feeder gainer phenomenon Good on point. YouTube. We're gonna have All to. Right. We need to read some of the comments on the feeder gainer. They legitimately are less divisive about They're his nice. being fat. Oh, than, than any yeah. television show you'll ever see. Then this podcast, I'm certain that the chat feed is just like us just being like, gay, 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 like, like just people just saying horrible shit about it. Uh -huh. Hey, Lupe and, Rodriguez, yeah, you're over that. there reading the chat. Yeah. It, it's half and half. How much yeah. hate are we getting on the chat? Uh, one fourth, maybe. Oh, that's not so oh, good. That's well, not yeah, even one fourth bad. is great. Right. lonely people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I love it when people waste their time hating something. Why, why wouldn't they? All right, so you, you're going to, uh, some comments. Read some comments about Chubby Guy there. Let's see here, Henry. You, sir, are a well fed. Mountain, well worth the climb. Not bad. Chewy Bun says, <laughs> gave me a Woody. 
got two exclamation points on it. Why wouldn't it? Bloody Goku123 says, Can you make a vor video where you pretend to eat someone and burp as they move in that belly of yours and act like they try to escape through your mouth but end up get gulped back down and you burp a lot as you rub that belly of yours? Please do it, please. To which he replied, Okay, I can film that. All right, very good. Consumer so everyone... to product. Product to consume. That's right. We don't even need management. We don't need the industry. That's we are... the Amazon of fat boys That's right. sending <laughs> fat videos to other fat boys that yeah. masturbate. Let's do, uh, can we, do we have time for one more phone call? Travis, can we please get somebody? Somebody of substance. I mean, they're I, all of substance. Everybody no, matters. No, it's only, I want someone of the higher echelon society, a businessman, an oil magnate. Somebody I don't big. know if oil magnates are watching us. I want somebody who's got the, I want to know who is following the money that made 9-11 allowed to happen. I technically know Carl Rove, a very nice man. Ugh. Yeah, You um, met him once. Yeah, I know him, so technically I know it. <laughs> All right, Travis, no calls? No calls. If you'd like to call us, call 413-961-4263. Ladies and Too gentlemen, real. it wasn't that there were no calls. Travis just unplugged the goddamn device before the show is even over. All right, we're jumping over to the final story. Now, this involves a fella named Porco, yeah. but it's not nearly as fun or as fat as the last uh, couple of stories. It's really not. Christopher Porco was a college student who murdered his father, attempted to murder his mother, but ultimately failed in 2004. Uh, he took an axe to them while they were sleeping after him and his parents had a money dispute. That is the axe in question right there. The money dispute was actually uh, Porco had forged his dad's signature on a loan to pay for his college tuition and a sick ass Jeep Wrangler. No, it was yeah. neon yellow. It was neon yellow. Um, that I know for a fact is a very That's good- why uh, it was sick. Uh, for, what was the name of the, uh, there, there's a really good, I think it's Dateline on the story, the Porco story, which is very interesting. Yeah. Um, but this is what happens when you have children and don't give them every single thing that they want. They will kill you. <laughs> Unless, of course, they gave him um, everything that he wanted and mostly he wanted an ass. Never give your child a weapon. They will turn it on you. That's why if I ever have a child, they are gonna be literally handcuffed to a bed until they are 17 years old. I'm gonna give them a gun, but it doesn't know how to fire properly, and then uh, it backfires, and so they, they get a bunch of smoke in their face. <laughs> so you wanted to pull a Looney Tunes prank Yeah, you son. want Yosemite Sam as your son? Well, he will be. <laughs> <laughs> he will be. But I will say kids are very dangerous. Um, yeah. And so technically the parents, I'm not gonna say they deserve what they got because- They did not. No. They absolutely no. did not. No, no. So let's get into some detail on the Porco story. Yeah, Porco actually had a history of fraud and theft. His favorite scam was to uh, sell non-existent items on eBay, and then when the person who bought them uh, asked them, hey, where is my package, Porco would propose as his brother and tell him, sorry, I can't do it, Christopher's dead. Excellent. Good way to do it. Take yourself out of the equation. Yeah. He also used to break into people's homes, steal electronics, and sell them on eBay as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So on November 15th, 2004, that is when Christopher Porco decides that it is time for his parents to go. He drove to his parents' home in Bethlehem, New York, from the University of Rochester, went into the bedroom, and rained down blow after blow with an axe. <laughs> It's a mean thing to do to your parents, and I think it's the meanest weapon to use because axes tend to be attributed to breaking in, uh, to, to firemen breaking into burning buildings and saving lives. America's superheroes. Yeah. Yes. And he took that superhero's cape and he used it to almost kill his parents. <laughs> well, um, not well, almost. Well, one of them, so what, what's really famous here uh, is that what happened with his father after he already received a fatal head wound. Yeah. His mother got smashed in the face with the axe, and now she just got kind of like a crisscross face. She doesn't look good. Anymore. Not as bad is as the chimp still, lady, but still pretty bad. So chimp, still alive. Still I alive. would say it's chimp lady, that lady that does like the, the plastic surgery to look like a cat, mm -hmm. and then his mom. And yeah. chimp lady, really, I blame big pharmaceuticals. They got that chimp all hopped up on antidepressants and Oxycontin. I blame Oxycontin. Francis Ford Coppola and the wine company, <laughs> because that chimp was chock full of sweet red wine as well. I agree, and I love Napa Valley. So what happened to the father is that Christopher Porco rained 16 blows down on his father's head. He split the skull open and whacked off the jaw, but the father 
in complete and total shock, went through his daily routine. I think we can all agree Porco would be a terrible baseball player. Well, oh, 16 yeah. blows. This is the thing. And you he, forget. That's, all, that's actually a lot of ab work. Yeah. Axing, it's like axe work, they said it's really good. It's good core work. Of yeah. course. And if you're not working your core, you're not going to get the torque that you need to really cleave off your father's head. Right? He's also not doing it at the right angle. There's a lot of problems in here. You should have talked to me before we so, did it. Well, yeah. no. We would have talked him out of it. Yeah. So first, the elder Porco goes to the bathroom. Ooh. It's the bathroom right there. So keep Man, in mind, no jaw got, here. Can't believe we got chocolate syrup all over the toilet like that. <laughs> kind of strange, yeah. <laughs> then, even though his jaw was gone, he goes to the sink and tries to shave. Now, he's in total shock at this total point because he shock. did it while they were in dead sleep. And so he came out and wandered yeah. into his morning routine. And I got to say, it's not comical, but imagine him using mouthwash. <laughs> kind of bizarre. <laughs> it goes right to the ground there. But imagine how many, uh, how much he's going to save on uh, shaving razors. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no, there's no chance. Yeah, essentially he's going to die in 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then as after he shaves, he goes down to the kitchen and he leaves bloody handprints on the walls trying to steady himself the yeah. whole way down. So there's an entire hallway with just these bloody handprints. And thank you. I want to. I want to thank Henry Zabrowski. When I am near death, whenever that moment might come, I am going to think, I'm saving a bunch of future money. You know, won't be spending cash. Think about the savings. Think about the savings. No more in life death. insurance. No more rent. No That's more it. electricity. Metro cards every week. Don't I don't think so. Who cares? Pay, pay, paying for dates to go be with a person. Paying making for money. presents for your family. Making for, money. On their birthdays. You're making money. You ain't spending money, you're making money. Yeah, and then the elder Porco, he makes it down to the kitchen and actually loads the dishwasher. He starts doing chores. Ugh. Man, it's, cleaning never ends. I just feel like he really honored his wife who always wanted him to do chores. Clean the dishwasher! Clean <laughs> it and blow the dishwasher! The one time he remembers. Just happened not to have a chin there. Oh, um, man. And then, I hate, do, I hate uh, emptying the dishwasher. That's my least favorite chore of all of them, too. Yeah, it's terrible. So then the father sits down at the table and he starts, he signs checks to pay for his son's parking tickets moments after the son attacked him and his wife with an axe. It's not right, don't have children. Travis, yeah. how many phone calls we got coming in? Just a thumbs up. Thumbs up, very, very good. good. He's plugged back in the system and we got, what else I, we got here? I Morgan? am so it's physically fun. wet. Yeah. I feel like a Fucking like I I I feel like I don't know what you'd say. I'm like yep. the the, the he's look wet. at this. Oh yeah, he's hot wet it is in here. It's hey. like I'm like the, the creature <laughs> from the Black Lagoon here. Oh, yeah. right. Got him. God, this is the best thing that's ever happened to the internet. Travis, one more phone call before no, we got, go. We've got someone on the line. Hey there, what's your name? Yeah, my name's Nick. Nick. All right, Nick, what do you want? What's up? I'm trying to get last podcast. Yeah, that's that's yeah, awesome. bro. Hey, this is last podcast. Last stream on the left, man. Ah, I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. Love you too, dude. What do you do for a living? Cable guy. Fuck Hell yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Where you, are you? You have to hook us up. <laughs> I'm the Time Warner guy. I work in New York, too. Dude, nice. let's yeah. do this. I've been streaming. Yeah. Oh, my God. You have to stop by my apartment. 656. Do you want to do Oh, uh, no. I am not giving my address. <laughs> but stop by. Thank you so much, man. What are your favorite moments, or what do you want to say? This is literally your time. You have 30 seconds. Uh, dial it off pass, man. My favorite episode right there. Marcus, oh, you killed it. Hey, thanks. That's dude, awesome. Thank, thank you so much, man. Thank you for saying yeah. that, man. Yeah, absolutely. Well... well Thank you so much, man. And Great. Have a good night, man. Hey, All right, you too. You too. Yeah, Time Warner Cable Guy, more important than fireman. Uh, mark my words there. Um, well, equally Pandering. important. Pandering. I love it. Can I get out an on-notice graphic? Out of your room, out of your on room, notice out of your wall. Please, can I All get right. an on-notice graphic? It's going to be an interesting campaign. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, what a great experience this has been. Your pretty face is going to hell. Oh, right. yeah, that's, that's another on notice. That's a television show. On notice. On notice. All notice. right. We're going to do this. We always do a little closer here. So ch and it's just, it, we're just plugging stuff. Yeah. So I'm on I'm on Twitter at Ben Kissel. Wait, that's... we forgot to do the last picture of the father dying. Yeah. Do you want to do that? We'll we, do it then. We've got to at least show the father. Yeah. Uh, he finally collapsed in a doorway. This is the last image of the elder Porco. Unfortunately comical. 
Gonna <laughs> <laughs> get drugged through there. All right, so check out Marcus on Twitter at, uh, at Marcus looks Sparks. Like Winnie the Pooh stuck in a honey. Well, no, I mean honey That's is very delicious. Oh, it's, it's, an, it's an unfortunate angle. It is. As long as know. I don't die in a way that my last picture. I guess that actually would it's be nice. Guaranteed if the last to happen. It's, 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 it's going to be on a toilet. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's go- yeah. I, well, I mean, yeah. The amount of time we all spend on that. Marcus Parks on Twitter, Instagram. Check him out. Ben Kissel on... Uh, it's Ben Kissel uh, on, on Twitter. Ben Kissel1 on Instagram. Henry loves you on Twitter. Twitter. Dr. Fantasty on Instagram. Go to Cave Comedy Radio. Enjoy all the shows. Last podcast on the left. Able against Top 8 Round Table of Gentlemen, page 7. Sex and Other Human Activities in the Lucky Bone Show. Yeah, Nixclad.com slash Marcus Parks. All right, Don't guys. go fuck yourself tonight. Hail yourselves. Hail Satan. Hail Gein. Megustalations, everyone.